Hey guys, Big Bad Rod here. So you all must be familiar with the OnePlus One's Oxygen OS uh, that recently came out. And I've been running this ROM on my phone for the past 3 to 4 days. Now I have uh, seen a few pros and some cons with it. So I'm going to present you my views on that in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so I've actually prepared a few uh, points here on my laptop that I'm going to discuss. So let's get on with it. The first topic is poor battery life. Actually, this is my personal experience with the phone. When I flashed the ROM at first, I used to have massive, massive battery in this phone. And actually, there was no stats available that could tell me why my battery drained so fast and so much. So I, I actually tried going into the uh, battery and uh, as you can see right now as well battery usage data isn't available. Yeah, so battery usage data isn't available and the battery is on 98%. So actually it was 100% just about a few seconds ago and now it's in front of you. No battery data at all. So that's a big, big con for me because I'm a huge battery fan. I have to have battery in my phone no matter what. I, I have to have big battery. I have to have long music, long video time and whatnot. Actually the 3100mAh battery itself was pretty okay for me but this is a disappointment. So the next point is finding the find manager at the gallery. Maybe you were also uh, a bit lost in your phone when it came to finding the file manager and the gallery because as far as I know there is no gallery app in the phone and I had to download the Cyanogen Mods gallery app to see all my photos and all and uh, about the files I took at least around 3 to 4 hours just finding where the file manager is and then I finally found out that it was there by the name of files now that was a complete uh, confusion, you know. I got really confused as to where it was. I downloaded a few file managers as well, and then boom, I found it. Like, boom. Oh. Okay, so next is how the software really is. Now, according to me, the software is really minimal, and uh, and I do agree that it is not better than Cyanogen Mod. But however it is, it is minimal, it is fast, it's not laggy, it's got beautiful wallpapers now which OnePlus has published uh, by their own name, it's known as the OnePlus One wallpapers if you go to the wallpapers and so right to the end then you'll come across this. Actually the wallpapers are pretty nice and pretty good in quality so thumbs up for that. Next point is how different it is from the Cyanogen mod. Actually, Cyan Engine Mod is a damn customizable software and uh, you can simply manage everything starting from the appearance to you know what not. Actually, if you are a OnePlus user, you must be available of how flexible that software is. But we cannot say the same uh, for the Oxygen OS. But yeah, it's also it's good, but it's not bad either. It's actually. It's not very good, it's good. That's what I'll say. Okay, so the next point is functions that are present in the Oxygen OS and which came from the KitKat. Actually, I was pretty amazed to see that the phone still has a double touch to wake O for the camera, V for the flashlight and double touch for the... and uh, slide with two fingers for the music. But, and it is actually pretty nice. Uh, uh, the response, they are very responsive. They're not as quick as the ones that were in Scion Engine mod, but yeah, they are very quick. They are very nice as well. Uh, it hasn't been with me yet that uh, I uh, tried to perform a function and and it didn't uh, happen. Actually, on the CM11, it may be quick, but it used to miss out a few times. But now, whenever I do my function, it does work always, no matter what. So yeah, that's a plus one. 
Another thing that we've got here from the previous version version is the ability to change from uh, the screen's navbar to the soft keys on the bottom. As you can see, here we are on the bottom and now we're with the capacitive keys on screen. So that's also good job, OnePlus team. Actually, it's the OnePlus feature itself. So. Next point is what are my expectations from the Oxygen OS? Actually, uh, I would really like the Oxygen OS to be quite frequent on their updates. I'm looking forward to 5.1 pretty soon on this device. And uh, I would also expect the future update to at least fix the battery issue that I'm facing with it. Or maybe you all are as well. And yeah, the other just add a gallery app because you know you don't have a gallery in this. You simply don't have a gallery. I mean, what? What? You should have a gallery in every phone. That's basic. Or I don't know if I am missing it out somewhere, but I did download the Cyanogen's gallery on this, and I am still not able to find the gallery right now. So I would request the OnePlus team to at least go and get the gallery for this app. Now, to be frank, I am waiting for the CM12 to come on the OnePlus one because I have got the habit and the hang of the Cyanogen mod now and I am in love with that. I am seriously in love with that thing. I just love customizations in the phone and especially the phone like this, the OnePlus one, it's, 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 a, tremendous, it's a tremendous feeling to have that, actually. Now, the phone, uh, the phone does have uh, its own functions as well, but they combine with the Cyan Engine's version of customizations, and then the phone is outstanding. I, I, I haven't used any phone other than the OnePlus One that is more flexible in terms of software, actually. So thumbs up for the OnePlus team to develop the Oxygen OS and uh, thumbs up for the future if they do you know solve the problems that i have with my oxygen os on the oneplus so yeah maybe i'll go with the oxygen os if i don't have any battery drainage issues in the future so that's it for this video guys i hope you liked the video and if you did do hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel so that you can be updated with more such videos and I do make videos that you guys don't want to miss. If you want to check out a few videos of mine, I'll put a few links in the description and go check them out because they will really help you. And uh, why not follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Insta because I really am a joker out there. I like to, I like to get smiles on people's faces. I really like them to enjoy with me, uh, laugh at me but only when I tell them or when I post a funny picture or, or what well you get the point so see you later guys thanks for watching